Hi, I'm Revy Jane. Thank you so much for purchasing Dream Big Chase Hard. I hope you are able to take away some nutritional tips, some workouts you can do at home, and an insight to my healthy lifestyle. Mostly, I hope you can connect to the more positive side of your own life. In this ebook bonus, we're going to cover five core conditioning movements. These movements are the movements I love to do after I've just done a workout. These movements are great because you don't need any equipment. But if you do have dumbbells lying around or a medicine ball, grab it because we have some options for you too. These are my favorite exercises to do after I've done a workout. Let's get into it. The first movement we're gonna do is the toe toucher. So lying on your back, raise your legs up to 90 degrees and flex your toes back towards yourself. Try and keep your legs straight. Now with straight arms, rise your body up and touch your toes and control your body back down. If you're after a bit more of a challenge, you can grab your med ball or a dumbbell, go back to the same position and just add that weight for a bit more of a challenge. The next movement we're gonna do is the twist. Keeping your feet nice and tight, slightly bent knees, get your torso in a 45 degree angle by leaning back. Touch the floor on either side and keep your chest nice and big, tight feet. The harder you want it to be, the more you lean back. If you're after a little bit more of a challenge, you can then raise your legs two to four inches off the ground, just like so. increasing that lean back. If you're after even more of a challenge, you can then add some weight with dumbbells or a medicine ball would work. And what you wanna do is count just one side. So just one, two, three, four, etc. Keep those feet nice and tight as you twist. The next movement we're gonna do is the flutter kick. Lying flat on your back with a nice relaxed neck, you're gonna put your hands underneath your bum. Now you're gonna raise your feet up together and start a little flutter kick. The smaller the movement, the better. Try and keep them nice and close to the ground. For this movement, we're gonna just count one side. So I'll just count my left leg, like so. One, two, three, four, five and so on. The next movement is the punch and crunch. For this movement, your feet are gonna be in line with your hips and flat on the ground. You're gonna bend your knees and lie on your back. You're gonna have your hands at your chest. Come to a 45 degree angle, punch either side of your knees and come back down to a lying position. For this movement, we're gonna be on our stomachs, hands first and then feet. We wanna make sure that our body is in a nice straight line. We don't wanna see any hips up or synced hips. So try and keep that plank nice and strong. We're going to raise our knee up to our chest and alternate our legs, generating speed. For this movement, again, we're gonna just count one leg. It will look like this. One, two, three, four, five, etc. Now you're probably wondering how many repetitions should I do? My recommendation is that you start with 15 reps of each movement. As that gets less challenging, feel free to add 10 reps to each movement. I'm currently sitting at 50 reps and that's what I do after I finish my workout. Thank you for watching the ebook core conditioning bonus. If you're doing any of these movements at home, upload them to Instagram and hashtag RevyJane so I can check them out. I have some super duper exciting projects that are coming up soon. So please stay up to date with me on RevyJane.com. And don't forget, dream big, chase hard.